Welcome to the Entrepreneur Show. I'm Heidi Richards Mooney, founder of Women in E-Commerce and host of the show. It is my pleasure to bring you today's program. In fact, I have a very special guest and I cannot wait to share her journey with you. Let me tell you a little bit about her. After starring alongside Patricia Arquette and Joey King in Hulu's two-time Emmy-nominated series, The Act, breakout star Ashley Dulaney is taking Hollywood by storm, leading two upcoming feature films, Passion Flicks' first romantic comedy, Seduction and Snacks, out Thursday, October 28th, so stay tuned, and A Taste of Love, out in 2022. Growing up, in Tupelo, Mississippi, Ashley knew she was destined to be in front of the camera and took to acting at a very young age while in preschool. Ever since her first role as a caterpillar in a local school production, she caught the acting bug and dedicated her life to her craft. After graduating from high school, Ashley attended and graduated from Ole Miss with a BFA in acting. Ashley made the big move to Los Angeles in 2009, where she began auditioning and taking extra gigs to pay the bills. Ashley got her first big break on FX's Justified. Among her other acting credits, Ashley has co-starred in Lifetime's Babysitter Black Book and later went on to portray the evil Rebecca in Lifetime's The House Sitter. Ashley has also worked on popular TV series, including NBC's Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Fox's 911 Lone Star, one of my favorite, ABC Scandal, I miss that show, to name a few. While Ashley isn't busy in front of the camera, she loves to work out regularly by hiking or taking aerial yoga classes. I think I need to learn about that first. Ashley is also a fierce advocate for animal shelters and has a white rescue cat named Posey Parker, named after one of her favorite actors, Parker Posey, and a black cat named Bella. Based on the USA Today best-selling author Tara Civic's three-part book series, Seduction and Snacks, is Passion Book's first romantic comedy project. And as we mentioned earlier, will be released on the platform streaming service on Thursday, October 28th. So here to tell us more about the show and herself is Ashley Dulaney. Welcome, Hi. Ashley. Hi, thank you for having me. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited. Of course, I want to know about the aerial aerobics, but or aerial oh, yoga. But let oh, me yeah. let's talk first a little bit about seduction and snacks, which is what we're here for. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the storyline and what drew it, you to it in the first place. Well, I love comedy. This is my first time ever doing um, something that had been created from a book. So that was like a new thing for me. And it was really cool to read the book before and the script. And so you got like this whole world painted for you in a different way. And I was really drawn to it because I personally relate with Jenny. Um, she sees the world through very dazzling glasses. So um, when I read her, I couldn't stop laughing and I, I loved it. Yeah. Oh, wow. So tell us a little bit about the story itself. What is it? What's it a little bit of whatever you can tell us without giving too much away? Uh, yes. Um, well, the story is pretty much about uh, two people who meet and I'll keep it vague. So nobody gets mad at me. Uh, two people that meet at a college party, they end up having a one night stand and she gets pregnant mm -hmm. and they never see each other again until their little baby is four. And then it's about them reconnecting and all the people that are in their life now. And they start this um, sex and pastry a shop where you get and it's, that's why it's seduction and snacks and I actually work for the shop and um and so it's it's kind of about them finding their way back together with this baby and all of the things that ensue with sex shops and pastries oh, I can't wait I can't wait to see it um so what's it like being it was fun <laughs> what's it like being part of Passion Flix's first romantic comedy on streaming on a streaming platform. It's really cool. You know, the the really interesting thing about it was when we were on set, um, we got to meet a lot of the fans that are really, really passionate about the books. So seeing them be so excited and love that we were chosen for the roles, that was really cool. Um, being part of the first 
anything with something is, is, is really, really awesome. And I was just, it was awesome to see the community behind Passion Flix be so excited for this one. Wow. And, and I am too. I have never watched that channel. I'm sorry, but I will now. Uh, is it, is it rated GP or? <laughs> it's, you know, I actually, I don't, it's definitely, it's not our, um, I, I don't, could do that on a streaming site, but um, I don't it's very contained that. while the, they, they definitely made it for many eyes. So not just a few. So it's more about innuendo than it is about our, yes. okay. I like that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I, I much prefer things that leave something to the imagination because our imaginations are <laughs> a little different. Okay. So what was it like shooting during the pandemic? Because I mean, you had to have been shooting all this time during what's been glowing up, going on globally and everything. Yeah, you know, I felt my husband's an ER doctor and he specializes in disaster and outbreak response. So I've been, I've had a very unique experience through COVID. And so going to work, I feel like I knew the proper precautions. And then, I mean, SAG has done an amazing job. Everybody was really, really safe. I was never worried for myself. And I mean, you're tested so regularly. You know, it was, it was different because you're used to seeing everyone's faces. I remember one time, like just, I didn't know what people looked like outside of their masks. So that was a little jarring, but we all got through it. It was really nice to be back to work and you could feel the community just happy to be back, but different, different. Probably a lot more compassionate because, you know, we've all, been, it's yeah. not like only a few of us, we've all been through it. The whole world has. So we all know yeah. what each other is experiencing, which is, uh, makes us quite a unique history, a uh, time in history too. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the beautiful, like, I love that people have come together, which is really nice. So what would you say was the biggest challenge during your shooting at this time? Um, the biggest challenge for all of us was just, I, I think, remembering where we were in this point in history. So it's, you kind of get lost in the fact that you forget almost like when you're shooting and then you quickly have to put your mask back on. So there was that big, we wrap, we put it back on. Um, that was, and then you kind of get lost in the moment and you have to remember, oh, we are still in a pandemic. So we all, the cast were very good about keeping distance when we weren't working. Excellent. So what is your, your personal number one goal with it, with your new show? My personal number, make people laugh. I hope that it goes well. I, I want people to love it. I, I think the book is really incredible. I think it has the power to make people just giggle and have a good time. And I hope that, I just hope everyone loves it because I did. Well, you know, what's interesting is that you read the book and then you're in, in actually in the show. Do you recommend to people to read the book or do you think it's more fun and, and to, to see the show and then, because I've done both many it. movies. <laughs> yeah, no, of course, me too. Um, you know, I've done both from like as a audience member and I like having both because I think, you know, the script brought us to life for this movie but the book has different colors and different layers. I personally love learning everything about every character. So I always, and I'm a big reader. So I'm always like, read the books, you know, do it all. So I say do it both, but. What's been your most exciting part of this particular show journey for you so far? For me so far, um, watching the already built fan base of excitement. Like every time Passion Flicks post something, you watch people get so excited. And so that's been the first time we've seen that. Cause you know, I mean, when you join a show, there's, unless it's the pilot, you know, everybody's excited, but nobody knows what to look for. And everybody's just been so loving and like, that was the perfect choice. Oh my gosh. And so <laughs> that's been really cool to see. And who's your favorite actor to work with so far? And that I've worked with who is your favorite actor of all time that you've worked with so far and who is one actor you would absolutely love to work with that you haven't yet so um my favorite <laughs> because it was such a big moment for me I have a tie so the first thing I ever did was um I got cast in a national campaign opposite Joan Rivers and so oh I know I oh know my gosh, and I know wow. and she was oh my goodness and so it was with her and her daughter and um 
meeting her and getting to work with her, that was, she was, she's such a legend and uh, she was just wonderful. And so to see that kind of her wit and her way of being with people was amazing. And then my first TV credit was with On Scandal, which huge fan. And oh, I, oh, I, and Carrie so Washington. Oh, I know, I know. She, um, she has so much grace mm -hmm. and just, she's beautiful inside out. And, and she came up to me and of course I'm like, beaming like a weirdo after I wrapped <laughs> and she was so sweet and she came up and she shook my hand and she was like just you know she knew it was my first role and she just said congratulations and thank you for coming to the show and I was so excited to like touch her hand and like I was like I I heard you like mermaids I like mermaids too and she still was so, <laughs> so cool. nice oh. and she was like I do and um so I think just having that moment of you see like somebody you love the show and you love her character um those were my two. And the one person I've never worked with that I am obsessed with is Reese Witherspoon. Oh, oh. you kind of remind me of her, your, your, uh, your whole you. aura. And I was thinking about her as when you said you love the comedies, because actually I love every movie she's ever been in, but especially all the, the funny ones. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Which are all of them. I, <laughs> I know I would die. She's so I just love her and I love what a yeah. strong woman she is and just what she's done with her like company. I, oh my God, that's my, would die. She might even cast you as her a younger her. You never know. Not that she's old by any means. Can you imagine. Would, I'd like to just stand <laughs> in her presence, you know? Yeah. Exactly. So what's been the one surprising thing as you've come across kind of along your journey uh, in terms of, of the people you've met and how it is in Hollywood compared to what maybe people uh uh believe, you know, like the 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 I don't know that we we all have put these people on pedestals and I know that you know celebrities are celebrities but what how is how has your experience been you know I've been I don't say this lightly very lucky because all it's shown me is people are people yeah. everybody has lives and you know um you just realize they're not on pedestals and okay. you realize people are people and it definitely changed for me. Okay. So I grew up in Mississippi, right? Like small town. And I was obsessed with tabloids before I moved out. And I was like, I even had like, this is really sad, but like decoupage chairs of my celebrity oh. people. <laughs> oh, I love Don't it. judge me. Don't and you it. move out and you meet wow. everybody and you're like, oh, well, oh, like you're, you're, a, you're not, you're a person. Like it, it's, um, just how yeah, real everybody is yeah, yeah. you yeah. know I, I think that more as we move along I mean I have friends who are taking up acting uh at, at a late you know after 50 and they're Love telling it. me the same thing they can't believe and, they, and they're pleasantly surprised at how down to earth and real everybody is yeah. doesn't matter what level of stardom you have achieved they say they're all just like so willing and helpful and and it's so wonderful yeah. here because i think that we had this misnomer for so many at least in my generation that you know you know any everything because i think my mom's generation you had a lot of the tabloids would talk about how awful people were to work with so i have not heard that at all yeah that's, that's i know how yeah about directors? do you have a favorite director you know i I have like the great, I never like to say favorite to that because then I think it like, I've been, so in my like journey, I learned pretty early to never be like my favorite outside of research or anything, yeah. like have a path at all, because then I think you limit right. what you're, and then you're not as surprised at all the gems that happen. So like every director I've worked with has been so gracious and, and I've watched, I've like you watch the world through the director's eyes when you watch the project, right? And so that's incredible to me. So like, that would be so limiting to me because I love so many things from different movies and TV shows, but. Well, it's gotta be really exciting to help have have that vision unfold with yeah. you, you as part of that journey too. So that's uh -oh. cool. Yeah, yeah. Can hear Did me? I freeze? Yes, I can now. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Just, it was like a, for a split second. Okay. okay. So, Tell us about some of the other projects you have in the works for the rest of the year and and into 2022. 2022, can you believe we're almost there? Oh my, oh my gosh. No. Um, I just wrapped this rom-com, which you were you were talking about a little bit in the bio, uh, Taste of Love, which is, I can't say anything about it. 
um, or where it's going, but it's the most magical little movie. And it's just, oh, it's the, it's just so sweet. It warms your heart. And um, I just wrapped this new uh, film that's going to be a horror comedy. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> and I, it was many overnight shoots, um, but it was, oh God, it's so funny. I love those kind of movies. So those are my two big ones that I have coming up and then um, waiting to lock in this next project. Lock in the sex project. That sounds like famous yes. last words. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, I can't words. say, oh, but okay. I don't, so I don't jinx it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what would you say to a young girl or boy who is thinking of pursuing an act, acting as a career? Um, don't, don't believe the word failure. Don't let anyone get in your head about, oh, it's so hard. Oh, the likelihood, any of that, because I think as long as you love what you do and you have fun, then you did it. And I think that we put limiting beliefs on so many creatives and it just stops them. And I don't believe in that word. So just do it. Excellent. So where do you see yourself in five years, Ashley? Oh my goodness. I, you know, okay. So this is, this is, I, I'm obviously obsessed with my husband and my cats. I have two, they're running around right now. And, um, (laughs) I never know how to answer that because as long as I'm happy, like as long as I'm still happy and loving it, I I just hope I'm doing what I'm doing now. And maybe a child, maybe, maybe like one, maybe like one. Yeah. Well, good, good. <laughs> well, you know, if it's to be, it will be. And I hope I it know. Is. that would be wonderful. Um, as, a, as a mother of three and grandmother of five, I know lo- how wonderful it is, has been for me, but I know it's not mm-hmm. for everybody. I've got, a, I've got a couple of girlfriends who've not had children and they're like happier than most people with kids. <laughs> you Girl, know? I feel you. I have one best friend that's like, not for me. I'll just uh-huh. love your children. Uh-huh. And so- uh-huh. All right. So tell us about aerial yoga. I'm just For sure. curious about that. I love it. <laughs> I, um, so there's this place in LA, it's called Upline Yoga and it's such a cool, I am not coordinated. Like it's really sad. Like I cannot follow coordination to save my life, but you look so graceful. And so in it's just you it's so beautiful to watch and it's the best stretch you'll ever have like it oh my god it's you do it in a hammock and you can advance to silks and it's just it's oh it's so fun so if you're in LA I don't know if you're in LA if you're in LA I'm in I'm in Fort Lauderdale so I'll have to check it out I'm sure that there's got to be something like some everywhere yeah because there's a lot of yoga yeah. Oh yeah. Excellent. Aerial yoga just, it takes the pressure off your hips and everything like that. It's easier for balance. It's just, Oh, love. Going to check love. it out. Okay. Um, so remind us about how we can tune into seduction and snacks. Yes. It's on passion flicks, which is an online streaming platform. So you do have to be a member there and it's going to be exclusively there. Excellent. Please tune in. Oh, well. So what are the, what, what books are you currently reading? Cause I heard you say at the beginning, you'd love to read. I do. I do love to read. I just finished this book called The Maidens and I'm on Malibu Rising right now. It's about, uh, it, uh, but I'm really bad at remembering author's names. So please, please. That's please okay. The me. Maidens and, uh, and Malibu Rising. I'll just write that. Yes. Down. I just finished The Maidens and I'm about to finish Malibu Rising. I actually put them all on Audible and I listen while I'm hiking. Oh, that's good. That's a yeah. few birds with one stone. <laughs> What's sure. the best way for our audience to connect with you? Um, I'm on Instagram at Ashley Delaney, and it's a lot of videos of my cats and my husband. So what's one question that I have not asked that you would like to answer? Oh my gosh. What's one? That's such a bad one for me because I'll just talk about my cats, you know? Okay. (laughs) You can talk about anything you want. Talk about anything. I, um, oh my God, what question? Uh, the thing that makes me the happiest isn't just work, it's the people around me as well. And so like, I think we as creatives get so focused on the work and I think that you miss life in that process. And so that's the biggest takeaway from my life at this moment. Well, that's great. And being so young and so wise is so (laughs) cool. (laughs) 
Oh, Ashley, thank you so much for being with us thank today. You. I'm sure that you've got a very busy schedule with the new shows coming up and everything. And I just wanted to say the best of luck in all of your new adventures. Uh, and of course, I look forward to seeing you in Seduction and Snacks and many other upcoming shows. I'm sure I'll see you on the red carpet. And who knows, maybe you'll get your balance and you might be on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Love it. No. What a comedy show that would be. It, uh, I don't know. I've seen some pretty amazing <laughs> people who started out and you didn't think they'd make it to the end and they did. So it's pretty cool. Oh my God. Anyway, thank you again for taking time. I, it's thank been you. a pleasure. It's so nice to meet you. You too, Ashley. Uh, we, we have been listening to Ashley Dulaney, the up and coming star of Seduction and Snacks, among many other shows. So be sure and tune in. And thank you to our audience for listening to The Entrepreneur Show, where we bring you exciting interviews with women who are making a difference while making a living. Be sure and share this show with your friends. Yay, thank you Yay, so much. Thank you. Thank you. That was so fun.